My uncle's voice talked to me. Axel, what had happened? I vaguely remembered the raft had been flushed into an endless pit. Dark, swirling water, a whirlpool. We had been sunk into a whirlpool. How were we still alive? I mumbled. Uncle, Hans, are you all right? My uncle replied for both of them. We are fine, still all in one piece. We were still on our raft, flo- floating on the dead black sea. But where are we? I asked. My uncle answered in despair. Alas, my dear Redlet, I am not sure. We could be back in the Lindenbrook Sea for all I know. Unfortunately, my instruments aren't working anymore, and we lost all our provisions. To be honest, there's no hope for us. I realized that my uncle was just as upset as I was, so I decided to be positive. We must not give up, uncle. We've survived sea monsters, the jungle, a storm, a whirlpool, and more. We'll survive this too. We'll get back home and I will embrace my groban once more. A glimmer of, a glimmer of hope shone in my uncle's eyes. You think so? To my surprise, Hans added, "The young mouse is right. We can do it, Professor." My uncle was so moved that he hugged us both. Just then, I had the strange feeling that the raft was moving in an unusual way. It wasn't just floating; it was sinking. I shrieked. Did you notice that we're moving upward? The water is pushing us higher and higher. So that's the strange feeling I've been having. My uncle said, "You're right, my young mouse. We are being lifted up. How can that be possible? Is there a he- high tide at the center of the earth?" My uncle observed. The rocky walls that surrounded us, and said, "No, this isn't a tide. I think it's the abyss." Was a pool at the bottom of a narrow vertical tunnel, and the water from the river is flooding it. So now it's pushing us upwards. We were climbing quickly. The air was getting warmer. I began to worry, but where are we? My uncle shook his snout. I am afraid I don't know. This journey was muddled all my. This journey has muddled all my scientific theories. The upward rush soon started making me dizzy. Sweat gathered on my forehead and my neck, and I felt a strange numbness. It wasn't sleepiness. It was like being too warm, as if I had a heat stroke. Then the walls around us began to shake. I shouted, "Oh, great!" My uncle corrected me. "No, my dear Axel, this isn't an earthquake. It's a volcanic eruption." I was stunned. "What? Holy cheese! Where's the lava? Under the water, to be precise. The same water." That is pushing us upward. Evidently, we traveled so far while we were deep underground. We've arrived at the heart of another volcano, an active one. The boiling lava is trying to exit, and it is pushing up towards an outlet. We are lucky, my young mouse. An eruption could be our salvation. I wasn't so sure. I understood. Are you saying that we will pop out at the surface of the earth, and that we'll be back in the fresh air and in the light of day? He smiled and said, "I can't say with certainty that the sun will be shining, but yes, my dear Axel, if my theory is correct, in a few hours we'll be flung out of the mouth of the volcano." I was terrified, but. Won't the volcano erupt boiling lava along with us? My uncle sighed. Yes, but the alternative is to stay in the belly of the earth forever. He had a point. 
We waited for hours. The tremors continued. It was as if the volcano was preparing for the strongest eruption possible. At last, our wait ended. Our raft was projected upwards at the blistering speed. We were part of a tall liquid column that blasted outside. A storm of burning rocks rolled around us. The water had turned from red to orange to yellow to black. Because it wasn't actually just water. It was lava. I felt jerked. I felt myself jerked upward as if an invisible hand had lifted me off the raft and tossed me in the air. Help, I squeaked. Just as I started to fall down, 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 I found myself suspended in mid-air. Hans' strong paws had caught me. I've got you, Axel. I've got you, shouted Hans. And he put me over the edge of a precipice. I was safe and sound, far from the lava and the rumbling of the eruption. Hans had my uncle were Hans and my uncle were next to me. Great balls of mozzarella. I had no idea how it was possible, but we were alive. Not only that, but an unexpectedly beautiful landscape stretched out in front of us. It definitely wasn't Iceland. The rocks and ash of the volcano had suddenly become a leafy green valley covered in vineyards with a sparkling blue sea in the distance. Suddenly we saw a tiny little head peek out from behind the rocks. It was a young redhead. He looked about 12 years old and greeted us warmly. Good day, sirs. I smiled at him. Good day to you. May I ask... Um, where are we? The mouse burst out laughing and pointed to the volcano, which was still spurting a rain of fire all around it. He said, that's the Stromboli volcano of, of Sicily. My uncle slapped his paw to his forehead in disbelief. Who would have thought it passed through the center of the earth from Iceland to Italy.